Coming to you live from Southern California, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers with my partner Chris Singleton. I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Duke Snyder. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog. It's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill, Fernando Valenzuela. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Okay, all set to go. Next to hit for the Rockies, Todd Helton. Leading off tonight for Colorado, the first baseman, Todd Helton. The wind and the pitch. That misses, and we are underway. First pick, 7-11. The 1-0. -oh. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. There's a strike, three and one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman getting ready to hit two for seven in the series so far. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. No score just getting started top of the first. Next pitch inside. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Flipped that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, a reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Next for Colorado, number two. To the right side, and he grabs it, foul. Kicks and fires. That one missed. That misses the zone. Two and one. The next pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. 
Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. And now it's going to be Dante Bichette. And a pinch. And that's in for a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Over to first, and he saved. In the dirt, blocked. Close play, but in there. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. The 2-1. Powell makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rockies strand one will go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back here in L.A., here's the veteran second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. You know, you hear about a lot of guys who are two or three sports stars in college. Jackie Robinson, a four sports star. He was a Division I standout in baseball, basketball, football, and track. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And I think we can all be thankful that Jackie chose to pursue baseball. As great a football or basketball player as he might have been, it couldn't have matched his achievements on the diamond. Puts it away for the out. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's... Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series the wind of the pitch Trey Turner in the box here lets that one go for a ball that pitch in for a strike and a count one and one Still fun to imagine what Jackie could have done as a pro football player. He led the nation in punt return yardage two years in a row in college at UCLA, so we know he was explosive. Next pitch is outside. In the air, right field. Full extension makes the catch. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there. Right, Chris? Yeah, stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it, and perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man, Great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. Duke Snyder in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Left-hand batter waits. Misses inside. And a count even one and one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Blackman makes the catch, and that'll do it. Dodgers are turned away their first time around. Inning number two from L.A. coming up on the show. Nothing, nothing. 
back here at Chavez Ravine. Top of the second, and here's the veteran outfielder, Larry Walker. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. The pitch. Stays alive. Going two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And one and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Next offering is downstairs. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And now the lefty. Foul ball. The 2-2. And a foul ball left side. Next pitch has popped up. Hauls it in for the out. Batting six. The shortstop. Vinny. Castilla. Yeah, the batter now, Vinny Castilla. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. No score here in the second. Next pitch off the plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And, Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. And a pitch. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Turner picks it up. Throw on to Freeman. Two up, two down at the top of the second. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The pitch. Chris Bryant at the plate with two away swings through that one. And he deals. That misses. And now it's even one and one. Second inning here, no score.
The 1-1 one one is upstairs. Two balls and a strike. That one in for a strike, two and two. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Leading off, Mike Piazza. Off. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boo, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, He's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Grabs it on the run, and there's one away. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The wind of the pitch. Towards first. And he takes it himself for the out. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Here's Mookie Betts. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out. And they jump ahead in the second. It's one nothing. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Here's Justin Turner. The wide to kick the pitch. The third baseman. And first offering is fouled off. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Two down, nobody on. And it's one and one. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe. What an effort there to save the perfect game, but it's broken up on an infield hit. Two outs, runner at first. AJ Pollock at the dish. Here comes a pitch, and he pumps in a strike. All ones the count. Righty to the plate. Oh. Good eye oh, right there. Ball At the belt and fires. Ball Next three. offering misses down and away. And here it comes. 
on the inside corner for a strike. 3-2, two, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Good job of damage control right there. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Randall Gritchick now. Randall Gritchick. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The wind and the pitch. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Piazza gets it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now it's Elias Diaz. And the pitch. And that one clips the corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And a pitch. There's the strike. One ball, two strikes, account. The one, two. Ball, two. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Todd Helton digging in for the Rockies. Valenzuela back to work. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Nope. Next offering is down low. That one hooked foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And a ball evens the count. He swings and fouls one off. And the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Welcome back, set for the bottom of the third, and now the DH, Kirk Gibson. And the right-hander back to work. 
inside corner and that's called a strike. Not close with that one. Ball one. And the right hander deals. And now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one fouled off. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Liner caught it second. Up next to the Dodgers, the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Jackie Robinson. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his back. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Sends a telethrow to first, and he's back in on a dive. Another move to first. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Back to first. And no luck this time either. Trey Turner now. Counts one and oh. And the righty deals. There goes Jackie. The tag, and he's out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Kicks and fires. The other way, Helton. He handles it himself, and that is the inning. On to inning number four. It's the Dodgers one, and the Rockies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and now here is Charlie Blackman. The left fielder, Charlie Blackman. The pitch. Nope. And takes low for ball one. Kicks and deals. That misses the zone. Ball two. That hits the dirt. And now three and oh. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball. Something in the zone because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Three oh down. And there's a foul ball.
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's the power speed combo. Number two. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Check swing. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Dante Bichette digging in for the Rockies. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. The Rockies still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering misses. Now 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. And he deals. That's ball three. And a four-pitch walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Larry Walker digging in for the Rockies. Good contact guy. Good defender. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That hits the dirt. And that's ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, one out. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Next offering is fouled back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left hand batter waits. And that one lifted in the air center field. Snyder pulls it down two way down. The batter, number nine. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Vinny Castilla. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Rips one to right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. In to score. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. It's 2 to 1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. He was a strikeout victim his first time. The pitch. There's a the strike. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know... You want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Yeah, now the 1. That one ripped left field. Gone! 
Chris Bryant bops one out of here. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Here's the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. Grounded out his first time. The center fielder, Randall. That one's in there, 0-1. Next one in the dirt. Next pitch is in the dirt. The count now two and two. And now it's three and two. Three and two. The why to kick the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three balls, two strikes the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Rockies four and the Dodgers one. And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Duke Snyder. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Here's the power hitting catcher, Mike Piazza. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. One down, base is empty. To the left side, but it is well foul. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Righty delivers. Pitch is in the dirt. Now one and two. This one in the air right field. Walker settles underneath it. And there's two down. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And here it comes. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Base knock right field. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's Mookie now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Up the middle, Castilla gloves it, gets him easily, ends the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back here in L.A., ready now for the fifth inning, and here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That misses the zone. One and one. Movement in the bullpen. Trevor Bauer looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Urias, a left-hander, also throwing. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. They say it went. Throw on to Freeman. One away here in the fifth. The first baseman, number 17, Todd Helton. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Todd Helton. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And a pitch. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. Ball. The next offering misses. Two balls, Two no out. strikes. And now two and one. And a pitch. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Here's Charlie Blackman. The wind and the pitch. And there's the strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Rockies are down quietly as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Justin Turner. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Ball one there. Sliced hard but foul.
Here's a 1 1. Misses outside and a count two and one. Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Now all leave it up. Stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. And the right hander back to work. Top of the zone for a called strike. Turner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Line drive. Base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Gibson looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Left-hand hitter waits. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Tying run at the plate. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. That one is upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Got him. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the second baseman, Jackie Robinson. And he's already singled in this game. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Righty to the plate. One out. Runners at first and second. Bunting for a hit. Throw to first is in time. Got him trying to bunt for a hit. No batter number six. Shortstop. Trey Turner with a chance now. pitch ball one no strikes at the belt and fires that one ripped he can't get there and that should be extra bases one runs in the second run scores 
Turner doesn't stop. Heads for home. Puts the tag on him, leaving the box. And that's the third out. Five innings complete. It's the Rockies four and the Dodgers three. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off number one. Number two. The pitch. And a strike in there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Ball Next one. pitch misses. One ball, one strike. I got a ball, one strike. The one one is upstairs two and one it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run kicks and fires fouls one off two and two And now the lefty got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Designated hitter, Dante Pichette. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Dante Bichette. The pitch. Bichette started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and no swing, says Joe McDonald. The pitch. Fought off foul. And a pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Now well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Here's a one-two. Way high. Two strikes. Three two now. On the ground, the first backhand reach, but it gets by him. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Larry Walker digging in for the Rockies. This guy with big-time power and an elite defender. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and over. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground to second, might be two. To second, pulls him off the bag. And he'll be safe at first. Second baseman definitely have some pretty tough throws to make when they're trying to feed the shortstop at second for a double play turn because of the angles and difficult footwork. So it's always a difficult play, but one that needs to be made. When your pitcher gets you that ground ball that can be a double play, it's a killer when you can't get at least one out of it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Fernando Valenzuela won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher out here, Trevor Bauer. This is his first appearance of the season. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm 
coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Vinny Castilla, one for two. Out there to center, Snyder on his way over. He's got it, his two away. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a pitch. That one at 95 missed up top. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. David Price looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bickford, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Next pitch is downstairs. Two outs. Pitch misses there, and it's 3 0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Randall Gritchick now. And here it comes. There's a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Line drive. Pollock pulls that one down. And that is that. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Rockies four and the Dodgers three. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Duke Snyder. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And he deals. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Nope. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Gritchick makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza now at the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. And the 1 0. Up the middle and a base hit. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. The pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 
Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Can't get there. Base hit. Blackman hurries it back in. And the tying run puts on the brakes at third base. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Antonio Senzatella out of the game, and he's on the hook for the runners at second and third, so looking for some help there. Back in a minute. Daniel Bard gets the call to the mound, and he's getting thrown into the fire with a pair of runners in scoring position. Now, here is Mookie Betts, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And the pitch. Gets the slider in there for a strike. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. This one in the dirt. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Kinley preparing to come on if needed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Second and third here, one away. Base hit, one run is in. In there safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. Three for eight in the series coming in. Here comes a pitch. Mookie on the move. Out towards right center field. Gritchick has this one sized up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. The left fielder, number 11, A.J. Pollock. Here's the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. Looking pretty good at the plate. He's four for 10 in the series. The pitch. That clips the zone. Strike one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. I got one ball, one strike. Betts leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. To the right side. And that will end the inning. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Dodgers five and the Rockies four. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh. Now the Rockies catcher, Elias Diaz. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And strike one to the catcher.
the wind of the pitch. Going to count one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next one misses. Two and two. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And down on strikes. And one gone. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt frustration mounting and very high right now. David Price gets the ball now. And this is his season debut. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Todd Helton digging in for the Rockies on the ground and that one finds its way through now that left field charlie blackman one down runner at first now it's charlie blackman the pitch and that one missing low. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Left-hand hitter waits. So two balls and no strikes with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Betts makes the catch. That's out number two. Now that number two. Number two digging in for the Rockies. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Bounced out to short. Over to Jackie. And that is the third out of the inning. So one left for Colorado. Still down a run. It's five to four. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Tyler Kindley. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in is the speedy Kirk Gibson. The pitch. And yeah, that's Ball outside. Back right side. And that chance handled. Whips it to first. And yeah, the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The batter. The second baseman. Jackie. Robinson. Here's the second baseman. Jackie Robinson. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Check swing, but he went too far. No balls, two strikes. Next offering is in the dirt.
Righty delivers. Out to short. Castilla collects it. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Turner at the plate. One for three. Kinley back to work. There's the strike. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. The next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering way off the plate. Here's a 2-2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Dodgers go down quietly as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tony Gonsolin, and he'll work on holding this lead. Back here in L.A., we go to the eighth. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Dante Bichette. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. That one hit to right. Betts makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batter. The right fielder. Larry. Stepping Walker. in the long ball threat. Larry Walker for the fourth time tonight. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Activity in the bullpen. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. The tying run at the plate. That's ball two. Two balls, no strikes. There's a strike. Next one is off the play, and that's ball three. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's the shortstop, Vinny Castilla. The pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Why to kick the pitch? Out to center. 
Snyder under this one. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They trail it 5 4. So they turn things over to the righty, Alex Colome. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Alex Colome. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's a big power threat. Duke Snyder. The center fielder. Duke. Snyder. And he deals. And that one a little bit high. Good eye right there. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. And a 3-0 finds his own. Colome deals. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And now the catcher comes up to him. Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle into the outfield base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The 0-1. Pitch ball. misses there. And one and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Robert Stevenson getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Estevez warming up as well. Snyder on second. Piazza at first with no outs. On the ground, a short could be two. Castillo to second, and that's two. Here's Mookie now. And the pitch. Ooh. Oh. That one just missed off the outside edge. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he's got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. They say it went.
That's out to center field. Gritchick gets under it. Makes the catch in a goal. One left for L.A. They lead it 5-4. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 49. Blake. Top of the ninth, so in now for Colorado, Chris Bryant. The pitch. There's a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And he'll one. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Over to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The battle, the Randall Grichick. Now at the plate, Randall Gritchick. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And a pitch. Good eye in that spot. The 1 0. There's a swing and a miss. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Right handed reliever. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. And now it's Elias Diaz. The right hander back to work. Nope. That one missed. Right. And it's even up. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Just one out away, trying to close it out. That catches the zone for a strike. That's strike two. Is just one strike away. This one in the air center field. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers take the first three games of this four game set. Well, this was a tightly played game, got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Close one here today, and your final 5 4. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.
with our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Five runs, ten hits, one error. They left six men on base. For the Rockies, four runs on four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely. Yeah, yeah.